what up game this is the unprofessional professional auto broken i'm back with another video all right so i got the the honda clean honda low mileage honda back to the house um got a little issue i bought it from an auction that didn't allow you to drive it but i'm gonna take y'all on the ride and i'm gonna show y'all what it's doing uh, another transmission type issue i did do some research and i do see one fix to it and maybe some of these uh shift solenoids may be clogged up but uh i'm gonna take you on a ride and i'm gonna show you what it's doing all right so let me show y'all what it's doing so like in first gear or second gear it kind of ribs up to me it doesn't sound like it's a issue internally with the transmission it didn't do it that time let me see can i see it's changing real good in these gears but we're gonna get down here and we're gonna make a turn and you're gonna see exactly what i'm talking about it's starting to rain a little bit out here but you know what i'm gonna do though is um i'm gonna clean these shift solenoids it's like a uh, strain in them and uh, see if that improves the issue if it does work then I'll replace all the parts for that but I just want to make see if it's it's the sensor actually that's causing the issue I did a lot of research on uh, YouTube and it has about four sensors on here and I'm gonna point them all out to you but I'm gonna show you exactly what it's doing see that that time it's the first time it did that so it may be starving for like some transmission fluid uh transmission fluid looks all right but we may change that as well but uh i'm sure i'm pointing everything out to you when we get back to the house all right so i got the car running i'm just gonna check the transmission fluid so it's been running pretty good it's, it's pretty red almost as if it's been changed recently, but I don't know for certain, but uh, it's still to where it should be. Um, I already checked it before, so I kind of know it's good, but I want to point out these solenoids to you. So this is a solenoid here. It's one below. Let me see, can I get it down there? Where my hand is right there. And it's one below it and it's another one and it's the linear one up under this battery so i'm gonna take the battery out and i'm gonna point everything out to y'all and we're gonna try to clean it and see what we can get out of just cleaning it and then we're gonna change the transmission fluid all right so i got the battery out the battery box is hold on by these two bolts I'm just gonna take both of them out and pull the battery box out all right, so it's two parts of the battery box. I got the plastic part out. The middle part is the only thing that's holding it, and it's these two bolts. One holds on this this hose, and then this. So basically, what I look like, I just all I need to do is remove this bolt, it's like a ten millimeter, and uh, take take the, the the metal bracket out. All right, so I found one more bolt that's holding uh, the bracket on. It's up under here. Is that one bolt right there that you see? It looks like it's a 12 milliliter millimeter. I uh, just gonna have to take that one out as well. All right, so now that I got that battery box out, uh, you can see it a little better. So this is the other. This is the linear solenoid. It's hold on by a couple of uh, 10 millimeter bolts. Um, and if you look here, now you can see it a little better. This is one solenoid here. You look down here. See, that's another. Wait, no, that's the same one. But right here, that's one, and it's one right below it. So I think this one is A here, and this is B and C down at the bottom. But uh, what I'm gonna work on first is this one. I hear this one right here is the one that caused a lot of issues. 
and this is the uh, linear solenoid so it looks like it's about it's a couple of bolts holding it on one two three four five six different 10 millimeter bolts uh, some of them are behind other things so I'm gonna have to take the connection off first and then uh, I'm gonna try to get all these bolts out all right as you see I got the solenoid off it has a gasket on it as well I thought it was a string that goes into here but it's not on this one so what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to replace this um, but just looking at it I mean you really can't tell if it's something wrong or not like I said I'm not a mechanic so you know I'm just somebody trying to get this thing working so I can sell it but uh, this could be bad and it's just the part this thing costs about $50 on on uh, Amazon so I think I'm gonna replace this so I'm gonna take the other ones off though uh, now so I can easily get to it I'm gonna put this back on now because I see that it's nothing really I can clean in this if it's bad it's just bad internally so and it is just watch it it will drop some uh, transmission fluid and just looking at the transmission fluid it looks kind of new uh, and it is a little cloudy but you know you never know uh, and I look at this one right here this one these two got o-rings on them that one don't have an o-ring in there and when I look here I don't see an o-ring and I'm looking down on the ground I didn't see one fail so it seems as though it should have an o-ring in there uh, but I don't know um, well just looking at this chamber it may don't need that there so it's, but uh I'm gonna put I'm gonna sit this to the side I'm gonna look at the other ones and I'll be back okay so after looking a little closely it is an o-ring that fell out so all three of these should have o-rings in them um, that kind of let me know that if it came out maybe it's an issue um, but uh, yeah I'm gonna replace this but uh, I just wanted to point that out that all three holes have o-rings in them alright so I got it all and this is the strings I'm talking about you know that could cause uh, flow not to go in now this one went here now it took me forever to get this off I ain't gonna lie I wind up breaking it off but I think I'm just gonna buy new ones instead of just trying to clean this uh, but I got this one off so I'm gonna get all of them off and I'm just gonna buy all four new solenoids and hopefully that's the issue I mean I'm thinking it's probably like a hundred and something dollars so it's worth a try and getting some more transmission fluid but this is this one coming out I think this one is a this is a and we still got two down here which is B and C so let me get those off and see how they look okay so now we're gonna try to focus on the last two which is this one right here which is B it's a 10 millimeter and that one right there which is C and you see if you can tell this has a black connector on it this has a black connector on it with the connection to connect it back I'm sorry this right here now the other one has kind of a brownish red connection and it is and the, the connector is red as well so you can know which one to plug it back into when you get it back out but I'm gonna take both of them out 10 millimeter all right so this is the shift solenoid number two. Oh man just dropped a bolt y'all but uh this one looked pretty clean so but I mean I don't know what's going on with it it's real cheap to replace these so I'm just gonna replace both of them but let me find this boat and then I'll show you the, the shift solenoid number C 
Alright, so I'm working on the last one down here. I already got it loose. I hope y'all can see that. But this is Chef Silenoid uh, C. Green on this one look okay too. Got a little junk in it, but inside of that, I'm just gonna all, replace all uh, one, two, three, four of these uh, solenoids and see what we got. So this is the linear right here. It has a gasket on it. This is A, and then down below is B and C. All right. 